Alright, this is uh, just a little demonstration on how to use the Deep Blue Sea action. This is how it works. Uh, first you start off with a simple image and then I'm just going to go into my actions palette and find my Deep Blue Sea here and I'm going to highlight it and play it. Now the first dialog box that should come up is it should ask you for the hue saturation and this is where you can just choose whatever color you want. Now it does default at a blue so I'm just going to kind of leave it there and just hit OK. And the next box that comes up is the Gaussian Blur. This allows you to adjust the amount of blur you want. Let's just go right with like that. It's all personal preference. And then it says now use the paintbrush to paint back areas you wish to remain clear when finished flatten all letters or layers sorry and hit continue. So now it automatically selects the paintbrush and if you want choose a nice big soft brush and a low opacity and what this does is just if you want to bring back any detail in areas that you you want to remain original sharpness. And that's it and then you flatten layer flatten. Now if it doesn't run like that then uh, something is wrong you should delete the action and reinstall it. If you start playing around in here and moving things around you could end up uh, rendering it useless. So that is how the Deep Blue Sea action works.